Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep in the His House. Today will be a slightly different video, some pack openings. I'll do these four in the beginning, and then I'm gonna do a bunch of my recent pickups just that I've gotten that are sort of card related, and then I'll do these four at the end. So if you're only interested in the pack openings, I'll be doing four in the beginning and then four at the end. But I have some, I have some nice pickups in the middle. All right, so we'll start out with these four sword and shield packs. So how are you guys doing? I haven't opened up cards in a while, so I'm pretty excited to see if these packs hold anything worthwhile inside. So these are coming from those two pack blisters once again, which so far I've had extremely good luck with. I don't know about y'all, but I think they're totally worth it. If you can still find them, the majority of them are pretty much sold out already because of how good of a price they are. Reverse Hollow Vitality Band, already have that one, and a Drampa. Not a bad card. Going to a Zamazenta pack. We just got back from some travels this past weekend, so that's actually one of the reasons why we have a bunch of pickups, because we're actually able to go to Civilization. As you can see, power is back, and we were able to get away from it all for a while, and saw some things. Actually went to some card shops, some dedicated card shops, which are actually quite awesome. Able to look through some bulk, look at some nice, slightly overpriced cards, but had a good time with it. Krabby. I feel like I haven't seen this artwork before. It's nice. Zigzagoon, Dossa Floor, Reverse Hollow Pokemon Center, Lady, and Stone Journer. Nice. That thing good so far. Go into a Lapras V Max. Yeah, I think majority of the pickups are kind of interesting, and a lot of them involve future videos, which is also exciting. Very excited for the future openings of this channel. Haunter, Vitality Band, Choodle, Rhyhorn. Okay, I've seen all of these before. Reverse Hollow Hoot Hoot, and Masharna. So no hits so far. Maybe the Darkness of Blaze side will have a lot more, but finish up with this last Sword and Shield pack. Hopefully there's at least something in here. At least a hollow would be nice. All right. Maybe that card looks pretty regular, so who knows. Rotom Bike. Seeking. Oh, Snom. Mawile. All right. First hollow Hitmon Lee. And a Lapras V. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, shoot. Let me get a... Uh, ooh, that's a nice little gloss around it. Let me get some sleeves. Totally forgot to grab those. All right, so I guess overall, this won't be a fail. We've got one ultra rare, even though it's one that I already have, but not too bad so far. So now we will roll, roll right into the pickups, which I think are quite interesting. I'll start off with the least interesting stuff first. Got a Symmetry Otter Box for an iPhone that's coming in soon. I like Otter Box for their protection, but I hate how big they are. Symmetry keeps it nice and small. Got some Team Bags. You can see the price right there. Extremely useful. This is one of the perks to actually go into a card shop because they had stuff that you try to look for it online it's extremely overpriced this is really good for shipping cards uh, shameless plug i have a little ebay store here's some more regular top loaders which are nice i have an ebay store which i sell some cards occasionally there'll be a link down below this is actually a purchase that i got from one of the what do you call it from one of the card shops uh, me and mystery we just looked through a bunch of bulk oh my goodness team bag doing its job i guess we just went through a bunch of bulk, and I think we paid around like seven, eight dollars for it. So nothing too amazing. No, none of it is like in mint or near mint condition, but it was nice just to go through some bulk and find some older, some of the older sets so I can complete them. So actually got a Shadowless Charmeleon, which is really cool. Basic, and it's all like in order by sets. So Dratini. These are just all cards I ha I don't have in the sets yet. So just filling out the commons and uncommons. Got base set Pikachu. And it's in really rough condition, but I don't have a base at Pikachu, so I wanted to get one. But yeah, nothing too crazy here. Finally have all the energies for base set. Got a rare, a, a non-holo rare from Jungle, which is kind of cool. But yeah, nothing too crazy here. They're just older cards, which make me happy. A rare Haunter, but it's non-holo. And this is some Fossil. I had a lot of these cards in Spanish, so I was trying to find the English versions of it, which I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, like I have this one in a first edition in Spanish, which I don't even know how I acquired that, but yeah. 
And you got some basic too. Really like the Jigglypuff card, Meowth. I don't have any Gym Challenge cards. So this is my first Gym Challenge card, which is Missy Star You. And then I even got some Neo Discovery, I believe. Yeah. And they were actually, this one is in, in bad condition. The last two cards weren't. So really cool little pickup. I mean, sure, maybe I could have gotten cheaper, but it was just fun to search through cards and get them through a card shop like that. Have a Pikachu V10, which I really personally do not like because these are the new like power tins or whatever. Personally, do not like the packs that come in these, so I don't want to get all three. But if I had to get one, I guess the Pikachu V one would be the one that's all right. But yeah, they have the um, Eternatus version, and then they also have the Eevee one. I mean, I would get them just for the promos, but I don't know. I just don't want to spend 25 bucks on packs that I'm not really pleased with. But I will add this to the background, which you can barely even see. And then finally, we got two of these Shining Legends GX boxes. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to see which are pretty awesome. Um, I actually purchased one at a Target, paid full price for it, so the $29.99, because I think some of them maybe restocked it. And then I went back for the price match, because I saw the price match, you could price match it for like $14 or $15 with GameStop, and it actually worked. So I went there, returned one, got cash back, grabbed another one, and they owed me five cents. So I thought that was kind of funny. All right. Finish up with some Darkness of Blaze packs. Also, if any of you guys know where to get card savers, you know, like the ones that you put cards in for submission to PSA, or that yeah, those are also useful shipping tools, let me know where you guys get those, because all the places that I look online, they're either really expensive, or you just can't find them at all. I know at all the card shops that I went to, I, I went to the Fort Worth, Dallas area, by the way. All the card shops that I went to, they just did not have card savers. So, I don't know where to get those. All right, so hopefully Darkness Blaze gives us a little bit better luck. Buff Centret. Nope. Squovet. Reverse Hollow Rare Hydreigon. Okay, that's technically a hit. And Delcaddy. All right. Got three more packs. All of these are, are Eternatus packs. So, yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to fill out some of my sets. I'm basically gonna do an assessment on all my sets because the TCG player app, while it is amazing for getting prices, it makes it kind of difficult to figure out like your completion on the sets unless I just am not looking in the right place or right setting. So I'm using another app to keep track of my progress on the sets and then whichever one I'm closest to, I'm gonna try to complete a set, a Pokemon card set, Starly and Lightbird. All right, at least two Ultra Rails would be nice. Two more packs left. All right, let's see how this finishes up. So yeah, that 10 will be open in the future and then the Shining Legends. And then I have a good amount of Champion's Path pre-ordered as well. So I'm sure that will be slightly exciting since I know a lot of the pre-orders are either sold out or the prices are like already over the retail or double reverse holo pan sage and Charizard V Max! <laughs> oh my ho! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Sorry, I'm not trying to use any uh, obscene language, but oh my goodness, I was not. It's always when you least expect it. When you're like, ooh, I want to pull this, I want to pull that. You don't realize it, but oh my gosh, the centering might be slightly off and a little bit of whitening at the top. But oh my gosh, this is the number one pull in the set. And here we go. That is, oh my goodness. I actually did not think I'd pull this and the double packs, it is the way to go. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry Lapras, but Charizard VMAX takes the throne. Shoot, I don't know if that card is still running over $100. The time of uh, filming this, of course I'll have the prices in the bottom left like always. I think it's like the beginning of September when I'm filming this, so. It'll probably be a while before this actually goes up, but if it does go up, then yeah, Charizard VMAX added to the collection. Oh my goodness. It's still around $100, that's quite nice. So that just made this opening and made my week, which is fantastic. Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, First Hollow Buffness, and Galarian Darmanitan, which I don't think I have this one. So, wow, quite the opening, quite the pickups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got some links below, and you know, if you appreciated the video, maybe give it a like. Thank you guys.